But first, Matt, to the case against Casey Anthony, the Florida mother accused of killing her young daughter. Does the prosecution have enough evidence to back up its case? We're going to be speaking to one of Anthony's attorneys in just a moment. But first, NBC's Mark Potter is in Orlando with the latest on this. Hey, Mark, good morning. And good morning to you, and defense attorneys here are expected to file a motion this morning asking for a change of venue, arguing that Casey Anthony simply cannot get a fair trial here in Central Florida because of all the publicity. Meanwhile, some new law enforcement documents have been released, and many think they actually help the defense. From Kaylee Anthony's body, which was found in this wooded area, FBI lab investigators say hair analysis revealed no evidence of any drugs which could explain her death. No hairs from anyone else were found either. Another FBI report says on shoes and boots taken from the Anthony home, soil and or sediment recovered from the specimens is different in color than the soils and debris from the crime scene. In the car used by mom Casey Anthony, there also is no dirt from the wooded crime scene. In fact, nothing in the latest documents sheds new light on how Kaylee Anthony died, raising new questions about why the prosecution is seeking death for her mother. With the stunning announcement the prosecution was seeking the death penalty, the expectation was that the evidence would be very strong. Instead, the latest results showed more questions than answers. Other documents focus on the discovery of Kaylee Anthony's body December 11th and raise questions about whether a sheriff's deputy should have found it four months earlier in the same wooded area near the Anthony home. In August, meter reader Roy Cronk Crime called officials three times, saying he found some something suspicious in the woods. In a later interview with police, he said, I saw something white that was protruding up out of the water. It appeared to me it just looked like the top of a human skull. But a deputy sent to the scene didn't find anything then and now faces disciplinary action from the sheriff's office. It's potentially a key issue for the defense. If the remains weren't there in August and Casey Anthony was in jail, then she didn't kill that child. I didn't do anything. You murdered your baby and you stuffed her body in your trunk. Meanwhile, the recent airing of a Law and Order episode on NBC with similarities to the Anthony investigation showed once again the high-profile nature of is. this case. That crazy lady took her. Don't lie to me. Now back to the change of venue motion. There has not yet been a public discussion of which Florida cities might be acceptable for a trial should that uh, change of venue motion be granted after a hearing sometime in the future. Ann? All right, Mark Potter this morning. Mark, thanks. Well, Linda Kenny Bodden is one of Ken uh, Casey Anthony's defense attorneys. Linda, good morning. Good morning, Ann. Talk about nice. that change of venue first right. because you're filing for this, um, arguing that the media coverage in that community has been has tainted your ability to get a fair jury. Absolutely. But given the nationwide coverage, really, of this case, what is your strongest argument that you're going to get any fairer of a jury outside well, of that community? You know, Ann, you can go on Google today and put in uh, women who kill children, and you'll get maybe five, six, seven stories, and maybe ten articles each time. If you put in Casey Anthony, you'll get seven million hits, but most of it is from the local coverage and reprinting of local coverage stories, because every single day since I've been in this case, which is December 11th, there has been a, a story, a story, a story story. Even when there's a non-story, there's a story. So the Supreme Court's recognized that you can't get a fair trial a lot of times in a local media coverage. You, for instance, the national media gives us a fair shake. They look at the evidence. They say, well, it could be You're saying the way. local media has not given you a fair shake? Absolutely given your client not. a fair shake? Absolutely not. Hmm. It, it, just by even reprinting the stories over, the local media rushes to take news leak sources, uh, law enforcement sources say. A lot of times the evidence that law enforcement sources had leaked was improper. So they're willing to like overlook and question, whereas the national media is not. Whether or not the case has moved, the prosecution has made this a death penalty right, case. And right. yet this new evidence that Mark just reported about really falls in line for the defense more than for the prosecution. Do you believe the prosecution may be withholding evidence? May, is there something else coming that would, right. would be arguably used for a, def, a death penalty? Well, you know, and after they announced it, they said we're going to give the death penalty, we wrote a letter. Where is the evidence? And we haven't gotten a response. 
response. What we did get was something that was released Thursday and Friday. For instance, we have an autopsy of a snake, but we don't have an autopsy of the child for which they're seeking to take this woman's life for killing her. Why do you think that prosecution out of the death penalty? I, I, well, I think that there could be a number of reasons of which we're going to explore. Whether or not it was tactical to try to remove some of the attorneys case, from the case, whether or not it was to try to get a better jury pool, uh, whether or not they're pandering to the local sentiment, but we're going to explore all those. It could be any of the above. I don't know that you've been asked this question, but you know, mm -hmm. as you know, a lot of the public has seen the images of your client clubbing. Right. When right. some might argue she should have been looking for her lost child. How do you, as her defense attorney, explain that behavior? Well, you know what? You know, you had the case, for instance, of Susan Smith several years ago, who was looking for her lost child, and, and yet she had killed her children. What you do when you lose somebody or someone who you love, you grieve differently. And we saw a, an incredible miscarriage of justice in California with the woman who was charged, Cynthia Summers, with You're killing her husband. It's not evidence that she killed it her It is daughter. not evidence of nothing. What is her mental state today, would you say, quickly? Well, you know, I don't like to discuss what she's in jail, but she's doing as best she can for uh, being told that the state wants to take her life. On that note, we leave it, Linda Cannon. Thank, thank you, you so and much. Thank this you morning. for being fair. Mm.